Some of us have bigger problems than others. As you can see in the background, there's a um, ambulance. Somebody just uh, recently called. Don't know what's going on there. But, you know, in comparison to the problems they have, uh, mine might be kind of minuscule. Don't know what's going on with them. They didn't bring in a stretcher or anything. Uh, but I'm having difficulties myself. Not medical. They're more legal now. Within the past two weeks, I had uh, police called on me three times. It's just unbelievable. They haven't arrested me or charged me with any crimes. But the harassment is enough. It's, I mean, this has been ongoing. <clears throat> um, that's. <clears throat> It's, uh, I mean, I hope to avoid it uh, ending in a crescendo where it ends up, I get, like, some kind of arrest. I'm really concerned about that. But I'm really getting a lot of stress right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's uh, kind of stem maybe from that, the library incident where the police were called on me and I was removed just because I was turning off the air deodorizer in the study room. I was the only one in that room. And they're telling me I stink. Really insulting. And then the next day I got a police call on me uh, hanging out in this very park. So just hanging out up here. I don't know. They, they just circled around. There's this there's this block you could just kind of circle around, um, and that's what they did. They didn't really stop, but I could just see them just watching me. <laughs> it's just, it's that uncomfortable period. And then now today I get a, a cop that pulled up to my car as I was there telling me I need to move. So that some, I was getting too many complaints and they don't know how to handle the complaints. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it's difficult. I mean, I'm not breaking any laws. I'm just minding my own business, yet my presence is enough to offend people enough to call the cops. And I really mind my own business. I, I focus on my own things. I mean, I have a computer to work on things with. I'm not actively seeking people out or anything. Um, but I'm not making any money enough to pay for a place to live so I can hide from the public and it seems strange to me that they're really picking up the harassments coming into this winter time I don't know the seasonal thing is doing it more so or if this has really been going on and a lot over even the summer and they just they're finally trying to take action in some weird way I've always noticed whenever it gets cold in Wisconsin, people are acting a little more agitated. It's that temperature change. I feel it sometimes, but not as bad as I used to, especially with this magnet therapy now. I mean, I believe the, ag the agitation comes from the nervous reactions to the temperature change, maybe moisture change, barom barometric change, whatever. It, affect it affects us all the same. We're all getting hit the same way. Just some people react differently. They, oh, they did load her up on the stretcher. That's too bad. My problems are not as bad as that. But the stress is enough. <laughs> the stress could be enough to lead me to something like that. That's, that's unfortunate. I just loaded her up. I didn't see. I didn't even see him put the stretcher, pull the stretcher out. But either way, I have to. I mean, figure out how to make money in some way. I just, it's difficult. Um, uh, especially not having a home now. I just, I can't really get a good sleep. If I worked hard. I, I, I still am stuck in my car. I, I need a few weeks into the job, and it's, it's, it's a little more difficult in this colder weather. I have to focus on survival more than 
how to make millions and millions of dollars doing whatever, sweeping floors. Yeah, hopefully this person is okay. We'll see. That's uh, that's life in Rice Lake. It's just kind of going by slowly. Um, I have no idea who the people were that complained against me hanging out in this park. Probably not them people. But who knows? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't see. The problem is I don't have car insurance on my on my car. If I move it, I'm breaking the law, just like that. It's it's. Uh, it's something I didn't bring up with the cop. <laughs> what are you gonna do? When they approach you, something has to change. I'm not like the Nicholsville people in Seattle where I'm, try where I'm setting up a camp, a homeless camp. It's just me in this 24-hour parking lot. I ask, where can I go? Churches don't take these homeless people. These losers. These, these, uh, these uh, disgusting, um, filthy people. Who are lazy, don't don't want to work. They choose not to work. You know, if something was presented for them, they would find a way to not work. Uh, um, where where do the where could a person like me go? I'm, um, I mean, it's strange. I'm told to hide more, and I got like two walls around me already. So it's I don't. Would the library be trying to get revenge against me? It's, it's, uh, <laughs> I have to laugh that off. I mean, they wouldn't, they wouldn't stoop to such measures, right? I mean, I may be complaining about them a little bit more, writing a few blogs in that, uh, in my AccuMagnet WordPress blog, but they know I don't get any readers. Nobody watches my YouTube videos anyway, so it's not a big deal to them. No, this is just people not liking the sight of me. I mean, or, um, and I, I mean, I asked what in detail what I was doing to have caused a person to call so much, and it's my presence, my car. Two other cars are there, just hanging out. But no, I'm the one who's getting the call. And also in that parking lot, there's a Corvette that parks alongside the building, and a person put a note on their car saying they can't park there don't know if that could be the same person calling against me, but who knows. Usually it's the few that complain about the, 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 the a lot, the, about, about a wider variety of things than others. Most people, I think, tend to mind their own business. I, I don't have any complaints uh, against anybody except for the library director, <laughs> but uh, that's just because of the chemical sprays. Otherwise, I mean, I, I didn't have any problems before. Now I won't step foot in that library until I know that they'll stop that action. I mean, it affects me. It affects my breathing. can't stand that. Um, but, yeah, hopefully this person's okay. I mean, <laughs> looking in perspective, this medical condition getting hauled up. And, well, they're not in a hurry to go to the hospital. They loaded them up on a stretcher. Wow. How bad are my problems? My stress is enough to make me feel like that, but still, my health isn't feeble enough. But stress will bring it that to that level. Oh, well. all right. I'm gonna end this.